here we are in a new space. I filmed a pack of footage showing how this developed and what was going on and the painting of this room. Um, I can't find it right now unless it is on my laptop. It is not on the camera and it is not on my phone. So I really don't know. I, I swear I remember filming it with the camera. I think. <laughs> but if I didn't upload it to my laptop, I'm not sure what happened to it. Hey everybody. Editing Naomi here. I uh, just thought I would go over the footage that I recorded yesterday and I have not found all the original footage that I did of painting the sewing room and all that. But it really doesn't matter now. The other thing I wanted to let you know is, if you didn't notice from the intro to this video, we have a whole new name. The channel is no longer Arthelia's Attic. It is now Living, Vintage, and Handmade. The old name was so completely tied to my Etsy shop that I really wanted to start fresh. I also changed the Etsy shop over to Living, Vintage, and Handmade, so everything is now going to be under that new name. With the new name, everything is new. We will be showing a whole lot more vintage and handmade and just everything. Literally living vintage and handmade. The sky is the limit on what we can do. And I'm really excited about this new chapter with the channel, all new look and everything. So I just wanted to reintroduce that to you again. My name is Naomi and welcome to Living Vintage and Handmade. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Give this video a thumbs up because it sure will help me. And come back and see what is in store for the future. Now on to yesterday's Naomi. And um, yeah, we'll take it from there. So anyway, I'm hoping I will find that footage. But anyway, what I was saying was I thought I would film in here before I can't film in here anymore. I will show you what it looks like. It has already been kind of semi turned upside down. The thing is, we are moving. We have a pending offer on our house. Or I should say it is not a pending offer. It is under contract uh, to close in three weeks from today when I am filming this. We are moving from Arkansas to Pennsylvania. So yes, this is big. Uh, this has all developed in the past two months, three months, August, September, October, two months. Yeah, so this has all happened in the last two months. Um, just briefly, I won't go into this a whole lot right now, but um, our family suffered a tragedy back in August. Um, my brother was tragically killed in a motorcycle accident by a drugged speeding woman. And my family is all in Pennsylvania. That's where I grew up. And so it is for the best and the good of everyone for us, my husband and myself and my son to all move back to PA. Um, we are in the process of packing up this house and getting ready to close. Um, still working on some repairs and things that we need to get done um, before then and also seeing what happens with the house that we have semi under contract in Pennsylvania. So that is a whole story in itself, which maybe I will tell sometime. Um, but I'm going to quickly give you a little show of this room. I was so proud of it so happy with the way it turned out. I love it so much. Um, but I'll be constructing a whole new one there. It, the room I don't think is going to be as big. 
although um, it may be just because we have uh, 10 foot ceilings here and that house does not if we get that house. Um, so I will have to do some measuring and figure it out. But either way, it'll be fine. It'll be another sewing room. Um, but the way this one came together, I was just so happy. And I only was able to make one and a half things in here. I uh, made a pair of shorts um, from, a, was it one of the Gertie books or one of the Patreon patterns? I forget which one it was even right now because so much has been going on and so much happened. I also started to make the Rita blouse, which I didn't finish. Um, I think it mostly just needs a sleeve and elastic, something like that. But now summer is gone and it's getting cooler here and I'm definitely heading to cold weather, but I, I can't wait to sew. I have a lot of plans for what's going to happen up there, what my job is going to be, and a lot of it involves YouTube. So I'm really, really excited about that. I, I don't know, there's a lot going on, but I'm going to give you the tour and also, um, when we take the show on the road here, so to speak, and start moving, I think I'm going to be doing some vlogging. In fact, I might be starting some vlogging just around the house to show the process of everything that we are getting gathered together and what the house has turned into with box mess and everything. So I may be doing daily vlogs there, but I probably will finish up this footage that I have had on all the sewing room changes and go ahead and get this up so I can move on to some fresh vlogging and just see where we go from there. It's It's been crazy lately and I have just not been on here the way I have wanted to. It's been a lot going on. So anyway, um, let's go on to the tour. Okay, so the first thing you see here, this is a curtain I put up because we have these very wide doorways. And this was for me to help, hopefully, keep the cats out so they wouldn't be in here all the time on my stuff. And it actually worked. Out of sight, out of mind, they never figured out that they could just push through the curtain and come in here. So I put one on each side. That one goes into our living room. This goes into our entry. And I painted the walls this beautiful color of yellow called vanilla ice cream. Uh, I love it. It looks brighter, of course, on camera than it is. I hung my beautiful pictures of all my international girls here. Some of them actually fell down due to some heat we had and I had command strips. But this is the area where I have all my books and it has, of course, gotten a little bit messed, but I love how I displayed all these things and I had a little bit of fabric left down here. Um, this is the filming chair. These are the patterns. Um, my portrait of Jenny Lind is over there. This is the dreaded drawer unit that is not from Ikea. It is terrible from Amazon. I've made some adjustments to it but it is still falling apart and I will definitely be getting an Ikea one after we move but I have gone through and I organized hence not good um, I've organized all my buttons and buckles and everything by color um, then we have my sewing table right in front of the window and this beauty I recently purchased at Bell Star at work um, I bought all the things I needed to get her up and running and plan to do a video on that. This is the new belt. But this is a wizard that was made for Montgomery Ward by the Brother Company. It is made in Japan beauty in her original case. Over here I had all my threads. This is my companion to Jenny Lind, the Southern Girl portrait. Over here, I put all my French 
street scene illustrations. I love these because they remind me of the Madeline storybooks. And this is my latest one. And I think she's so, it's so cute. Then we have the mannequin, the, the ironing area, my filming lights, the other window, my doll cabinet that has always lived in this room, some Barbies, a little display shelf, a cube storage that had fabric in it, my yarn, and then the gorgeous, fantastic table that I built that is even too big for me to get in the shot um, with its cherry oilcloth cover. So I'll be taking that apart. It's in, it's four panels. Um, actually, it, I have four panels, but this is made up of three and there the whole bottom is made up of all these cube systems that I have put legs on the bottom for the perfect height. I have already started packing up fabric so these are all empty. This is what most of what I have left and some things here. So all of this is stuff that I've started to go through and pack up. My table is filled. I'm packing my fabric in space bags to keep it protected during travel. And then this dresser over here, there's my other mannequin is standing in front of, was an old brown dresser that I've had for many years. And I painted it this lovely pink and put these nice little green glass knobs on. And I have stored in here ribbon and yarn. And then this side of the table was more storage there. Um, my task chair, my serger that I was getting ready to thread <laughs> and do a video on that. Another view of my doll collection. And um, yeah, so there was more fabric storage there. I know this is not going to be the best video probably to look at because I don't have it on my tripod which I'm not even sure where that is, and my extra sewing machines and other supplies down here. So there you have it. That is the sewing room that was. Oh, and here's the beautiful light. I finally finished my sewing room. <laughs> now I'm taking it apart. Um, but we're on to more adventures and hopefully a whole lot more YouTube. Things will be very different for all of us. We've been in Arkansas for 25 years. So even though I grew up there, uh, it'll definitely be a little bit of a change. But I'm really looking forward to it and uh, the new adventures. And definitely there's a lot in the works for YouTube. That is going to be a big key element as far as my work goes and I'm really excited about that because it's been on the back burner for a long time as you can tell by the lack of my videos in the last couple of years pretty much non-existent <laughs> so I am going to close this video now hopefully find the rest of my footage if not <laughs> it will be just this today and uh I hope you come back and see me for the vlogs, the travel vlogs, the moving vlogs. Not 100% sure what I'm calling that yet, but that will be a lot of fun. Driving over a thousand miles with five cats, a dog, a teenager, and a husband. I'll see you soon.